Hey folks, so I'm going to make a video about my Crown Super Coach today. I am in the process of selling this, but I've got a battery cable that the end has come off of, and I'm going to fix that because I don't want to pass that on to anybody. So let me show you what's going on. I've partially set up here. So this cable end has come off, and that's a bad thing. So we're going to fix it. The tools that are necessary. I've mounted the punch or impact crimper to a scrap of wood. That's the driver. These are butt splices. It's number two cable. New battery terminal. This isn't what I would use, but this is what I have. Um, I like the style I used on the diesel truck uh, much better, but this will work. Some heat shrink tubing. That's for something else. Cutters. These aren't very good cutters. They're from Horrible Freight. Light, light, and something to melt heat shrink tubing with. I will put links to the important things here in the video description. Uh, if you use those links, you're going to pay the same price you'd pay anyway, but I earn a very small commission, and I really appreciate your support. It helps underwrite the cost of my crazy hobbies and my junky vehicles. So, um, I, I do make a little bit of money when you use those links, so thanks for your support. Okay, so one of the reasons I like these lights is that uh, they have a magnetic base. And it makes it really easy to get them in. Um, I think the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and disconnect the battery cable completely from the other battery so that nothing's exciting while I'm underneath it. Um, I need to undo this cable clamp so that I can get um, the battery cables down where I can work on them. Um, yeah, that one. And I think... Yeah, that's probably it right there. Let me work on this. Alright, so these are half-inch terminals. Nothing magical here. We're just gonna back them off. Come in here with a screwdriver. Loosen that up. That should come right off. Alright, so that disarms this. Um, you know, batteries last a while. Um, these are 2019, see, so these are five years old. Um, I'm actually impressed they still hold the charge. But uh, I'm not replacing them. The new owner's going to buy new batteries. These will get it started and they'll get it from here to there. <laughs> All right, so let me figure out what size uh, wrench that is or socket and get after this. So, this is my current favorite way to organize sockets. Um, and I acquired this at Harbor Freight, which is about 20 bucks. I'm pretty happy with it, it uh, keeps everything right where I need it. Um, and this is kind of the third thing I've tried, so I think this one will be a keeper. So I'm going to try 5 sixteenths. Nope. Maybe 9 30 seconds. That would be a weird size. Yeah, I can't see, so I'm going to have to crawl under here to figure it out. <laughs> So, 
I gotta change my tactics. Get this on here. off now and we should be able to drop that down. Alright, so again one of the many benefits to these lights is that they're very very configurable. So first things we need to do is cut the end off this and see what we're working with. some stuff to build up. Alright, so rather than take down more battery cable, which is probably the right thing to do, bring the floor up to the battery cable. quite ready. I'm going to make the extension first because I can do that on the bench and it'll be easier to work on, on the bench. So let's go to the bench. So I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I need the cutter. Let me go grab this. Alright, so what I was about to say is I'm not entirely sure why I bought so much battery cable. Other than I think it was sold in like these lengths. But this project is minimal additional cost, and quite frankly, my friends who are like, oh, you own too much shit, you, you shouldn't buy so much crap, you should have just bought prefabricated cables. Now, being able to make them myself frees me from having to use Chinese junk. And I don't hate Chinese people. I think they're they're intelligent, interesting people. But I hate that their economy prizes profit, just like Pig Street I and mean Wall Street. All right. So that's going to be good enough. So 
I'm going to trim those off with. Alright, so the question is, yep, not that. It's a possibility, but it doesn't fit very well. What's up with these two quarters? Let's see where this is made. Made in India. Great. Yeah, these will work. So it's going to come in under, probably under this terminal here. Now, I don't know what wire is used for the bus cables, but this is welding wire, so it's real thin, and electricity travels on the outside of the wire, so this works better. Let's see, half inch. Let's see if it's even worth fighting with. No, it is not. About five eighths. Just a little bit bigger. Oh, not gonna happen either. But three quarters will work. Yep, yeah, and it's gonna take more than one piece. So. That's good. It just needs to be heat gunned. Um, this is marine it, uh, heat shrink, so it has adhesive on the inside. You see a little bit of adhesive squeezed out there. That keeps the water from getting in and corroding the connections. And it's, this is why you use heat shrink, and in addition to its insulating qualities. So I'll put links to all this uh, in the video description to help you all out. And I think we said we were going to come in on the side terminal, so we can deal with that later. Well, actually, yeah, we're not going to come in through there, so we are going to come in through the top terminal. 
And honestly, it's, it's just fine. It's not. this much cable so this gives the new owner some flexibility to change he's probably gonna have to cut this off and re-terminate it um, in order to come in with a larger battery connection but this will work for what I'm doing all right so let's get this party started. and first thing I need to do is slip this on here because otherwise I would forget pretty as I'd like, but it is serviceable, and that's what matters. Alright, I've got to get power for my heat shrinker, so I'll be right back. Alright. So more power cord back across the bus. Yeah, there's a lot of power cords running around under here. That's okay. Getting up from under here, that's cool. Alright, it's started, so let's get scared.
and I'll be back. New terminal is a 12 millimeter. That sucks. Because everything else is half inch. Alright, so that's nice and tight. And that's not 12 millimeters, so it's probably 11 or 10. Let me go get those. Alright, so that's 11. Yep, it's 11. That looks nice and tight. Let's go see if it starts. Alright, so ignition. 